Hello guys, welcome to race number two here in New York City and in the Maxus in the Maxwell Center for the Slim Jim Lice race and I am Axiom. Yes, I know a new name. But get used to it. But anyway guys, uh anyway guys, uh I'm looking in New York right now. Uh very purple area, I know. Maybe weird, but hey, but hey, BM hey, it's not the worst thing I talk about, honestly. Purple may be a little bit weird, but whatever. But this is a little short track, which in which the lights in the seat, which is the light in the main series are going to race at. Very slightly little course, I might say. And God knows what the hell you guys are going to damn do. And I'm scared to find out. But anyway, guys, anyway, guys, um, we came from we came from Vegas. Vegas was a green white checkered, and I know that Shimp Ingrits has to be time with Danny ever in point. Again, Ingrid's got the win, which makes him on top. And the rest seems to be very normal. Other than that, though, it's just one race, so I'm not even gonna get too bothered into that. So anyway, guys, I'm anyway, guys, we just go to to straight to the starting grid. Uh, the poster of the race it is Baron Praxis. Yes, Baron Praxis has scored a tenth place finish. Um, yeah, he did. He scored a tenth place finish. Which is pretty not bad. He's 11th in the points, which sounds a bit weird, but but he didn't get no bonus points at all. So uh, from Vegas, so yeah, I know <laughs> that's why he's uh, 11 points, not not nine tenth. But whatever. But but again, Paxis since since he got the point, he's now back in tenth. So yeah, congratulations, Paxis. So anyway, anyway, starting start next to his outside it is Kyle Patterson. Uh, for Cougar Racing, this is a short track team, which makes pretty damn sense. But yeah, yeah, this is the highest rookie. Starting in third it is Nick Norton, who is ooh very very hot right now. Um, he got a 28th place finish with some uh, but uh, but uh, GX Motorsports is uh, they not they do love they do love the chassis type, I might say. Starting in fourth it is uh, Bucky Itondo. Uh, that's quite a name. Uh, yeah, he's here. Uh, that's all I gotta damn say. Starting fifth is Brendan Lightning, um, who who has scored a third place finish, but he needs to hope God that uh, Ingrid's can fall behind because maybe then you may want to uh, get some. He may, may get some wins. But starting to his outside is uh, Chef Ingrid's, a points leader. Have fun, but have fun, Lightning. Sorry, in seven, it is Ralph Foster, another rookie for GX Motorsports. Yeah, GX is having a good weekend, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Sorry, in eight, it is Henry the Fitzwater. Yeah, Henry the Fitzwater. Not bad of a debut for, li uh, for Lights. Um, scored, uh, she scored a 18th place finish. Not bad, it's actually one of her better races in her career, but again, again this is a Lights, this is a Lights series, so. So competition would be a little bit easier, but but so far not that bad. Starting so tonight is Kyle Shock Jr. trying to uh, get a top ten. Uh, starting to his outside top ten is Kyle Jansma Jr. Why not the top ten after his uh, disappointing debut? And that's kind of basically it. Anyway, guys, that's basically all I have right now. And let's see you guys back for some green flag racing. Show. Okay, guys, we, we, we are giving it to go green flag racing here in just a moment here. Bam, Pass is going to lead us down for the green flag here. Along Kyle Pass and we are green here at New York City. Nick Norton has going to take a very aggressive move on Bam Paxes, and that's going to allow Kyle Pass to take the lead as it's as Paxis, a little bit unfazed by that, as now Paxis is going to fall all the way back now to uh, to around uh, fourth place, being charged by Meta Lightning right now. As Kyle Patterson, he's going to lead his first career laps in uh, uh, in uh, in, in Jump Lights. Oh boy, oh boy, you may hear a little noise. Ignore that. I'll I'll turn that off. But oh my, that's a caution. Um, yep, that's a caution, and no, oh, that's a caution in on the back area. Bouchard maybe get involved, might maybe involved. Yep, but also Bouchard is involved, and maybe just him. But oh boy, but 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 how will we? Oh, you're gonna see. All right, is Bouchard. Bouchard getting a bit too antsy and going to hit the wall and come back up the track, and that's gonna be a caution. 
Yep, that is just a simple spin. Simple spin, and that looks like that. Looks like Skyward Johnson in the pit road. Yeah, may have some problems. Oh, no, that might be Bad Bad Light Jr. as well. Interesting. And that is Brendan Barnes. Spinning, um, uh, Bad, uh, Bill Bad Light Jr. Uh, and that looks like Vic Scott. Um, yeah. Um, Batman against uh, Bay Carter. A little bit too much. Not for, uh, not, not for some good points either, but that's just pretty sad. Oh, and also, by the way, I also know, I also noticed this as well. Brendan Barnes got into Switch of Sayara, but there's no major damage, so that's forgery. But Brendan Barnes, uh, needs to be, needs to be a bit more cautious than that, but that's a bit too silly. Honestly, way too silly. Um, but however though, everything would be okay though. But anyway, um, that's all we got, and let's see you guys back for some more game for action now. As Carl Passon leads to base. I think Scarlett Johnson and Ooh. That's a break check. Uh I think Brandon I think uh Danny Bouchard is out of this race, I believe. If so, then that's a pretty tough break. Oh no, never mind, he's actually still in. So nobody's out of this phase, shouldn't it be? Um, shouldn't it be? Uh, anyway. But, anyway, uh, anyway, we got Carl Passon leading. After that, we got Nick Norton, Brennan Lightning, Brennan Praxis, Nathan McCain, uh, Bob Foster, Henry, Henry DeFitzwater, Boogie Dondo, Shep Ingrits, and Jesse Garcia. Not bad. Uh, it's interesting that, uh, Instead that, that instead that all the GX cars are actually up here. That's pretty interesting. But anyway, guys, we're gonna we we're gonna go back to Green Fan Racing here at New York City. I can see Ben Praxis trying to get past trying trying to get past Ben Lightning and Nick Norn. Nick Norn, he's gonna try a a chance for the lead here. Ben Praxis got past Nathan McCain and Ben Lightning easily. Or is that everybody spreading out as Kyle Patterson loses the lead to Nick Norton uh, for the top spot. Ben Alani is is riding on the roll right now as Fitzwater is trying her best trying to get to fourth place right now against Val Foster as Kyle Patterson he is now making another charge for the lead at the base here. Patterson may want to go 3 wide here. No, he's going to be pretty patient but that's going to force Patterson up wide and he is going to force a move down low. Nick Norton wants to go three wide now. He did not. Praxis is side by side. Nick Norton wants to go three wide down the middle. And that did not work. And that did not work too well in Norton and uh, Patterson's favor. As now Ben Praxis takes the lead of the race here. It's, oh, it's, it's been a wreck. I saw a wreck. I think I saw a wreck somewhere. Oh, there, there are smokes somewhere. Um, I think Sofia Martinez is a little bit too aggressive sometimes. These two are bookies, and she just turned with Jean Reeves. Yep, but no major damage though on the 26th car. Well, we got some drivers in the back. Yoshizawa has been struggling a little bit. Keenan Barnes as well, interesting enough. Brendan Barnes is doing meh. Pedro Hiela. Again, not bad, not bad for driving right now. Danny Ever trying to chase up to. Oh, don't go for a Y in the corner. Oh, that's for a Y in the corner. That's pretty unexpected. <laughs> oh, that's going to. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, uh, Yoshi Sakamo just put. Just put Rika Reeves in the wall. One thing, Mo Sanchez is doing pretty damn well. Not, I'm not gonna lie, he's, he's doing pretty good in. The, and, uh, doing pretty good in lights right now. In the main series, he was one of the worst rookies, but but for but for Sanchez, this might be a bit of a rebound. He's doing a lot better than his teammates, but talent-wise, uh, he does not have the talent like Yoshizawa or Brandon Barnes. But but Sanchez keeping it clean right now, as he's trying to fight against Shep Ingrid to. Who may come to the who may come to Sim Gym series? Uh, as you mentioned uh, Shep Angwin's doing pretty well right now. He's sixth place right now. He is ahead, uh, basically most of everybody. But he's losing to Ben Praxis and Caution is out. That's interesting. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, 
Bam Praxis has smacked in the behind of Ki of Kyo Nakamura. Oh no. Down the big creatures though. Is that gonna is that gonna do any damage to the 43? Most likely not because this is a short track. This is not this is not a mile and a half, -er, but that's pretty bad. But I don't see any real physical contact though, so. I think passes would be fine, but we gotta see what happened to Jessica Monroe. Oh, we got, we got uh, but 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 uh, Jessica Monroe battling against the 77 and 77 and Monroe battling and that happened. That's a hard, that's a bit of a hard hit for a wall. Luckily, this is this is the 77 was Nicholas Lafine Irving. Yeah, that is that is his name. That's a name to have. I'm not gonna lie, I cannot I cannot fit the whole name. For the graphics, but fortunately, but use your whole name in in the custom graphics, so that's pretty cool. As basically 77, just bam it too hard against against the 60, hard hit, and, and and Monroe is gone for the race. But as for the contact, Faxes did not see that one coming, and oh, but. He he was only going about 50 miles an hour, uh, maybe even less than that. Uh, 55 or uh, 50, yeah, about it's about 50 miles an hour. No major con, right? It's not major damage, but I'm not so sure if it's going to affect anything. Knowing these cars, one tap could just make you drop from first to only on the day 20th. But I don't know about these cars though. These cars are a little bit, are a little bit heavier than the main series are, but I can be wrong. But but I personally don't think it's gonna be any major damage though, especially shoot on a short track like this. But anyway, guys, I, I think that's basically it. And as you guys, back, back, back to some more for action. Okay, uh, Nick, uh, Nicholas of uh, the the of Irving is out and along with Jessica Monroe. Skyward Johnson is still three laps down. She's not out of this race. Uh, ignore the graphics. Uh, ignore, uh, ignore what the graphics says. Uh, 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 Munro and Irving are both out of this race. Um, I did check. Uh, anyway, want to go here. Grand Prax is still leading. Uh, after that, it is Nick Norton, Kyle Patterson, Al Foster, Nathan McCain at the top five and a half. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Yes, and I also by the way, all three GX, all three GX motorsports cars are in the top five. Right there, you got Chip Angrids, Henry the Fitzwater, Mao Sanchez, Booker Itondo, and Kyle Shanker Jr. Also, by the way, um, uh, Jonathan Dryan 12, not bad. Uh, Runners is doing pretty well. Danny Abbott, he, he needs to catch up though. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Ingrid is doing, he's doing a lot better though, but Praxis is the main way for Ingrid, and we are green here at New York City once again. Patterson has taken a very real line, but he's trying to, he's trying to, trying to do a little slingshot move. But Patterson, he's going to stay behind on the 19. Very, he's, he is going to stay very close to the 19. He may do the bump and run. This is, this is a short track guy. Oh no! Patterson just got an ignore and Norton! He's to the wall and Norton slides up and he saves it! Nick Norton with an insane save! Fitzwater almost to the wall! GX is now going three wide right now! Insane save by Nick Norton though! Man, Nick Norton though! That's a bit scary though, but Kyle Pass is now in second place! But, as, but right now though, but right now, you also got Bucky Tondo trying to catch up for a top five position. If Carter comes out, he might be he might be even much better spot. Oh, Carl Shaw Jr. almost uh, kind of got into uh, Ingrid. Wow, well, Foster, Foster, Foster has turned his teammate. Damage two to forty four. That Carter's gonna be out. It's now become a bit of a mess. Being in the banging right now, Ingrid has to fight off. It's about to be 4 1 here in just a moment, Cole Jasper Jr. Uh. Uh. Oh my goodness, Jasper Jr. and Ingrid are still touching, and Caution is out because Val Foster has turned his teammate. 
Oh, man, Foster! <laughs> what were you doing? Fourth place is Boogity Don, and fifth is Kong Shaka Jr., and sixth is Kong Jasper Jr. Yeah, that's a. And also, by the way, uh, yeah, Nick Norton does have damage now. Uh, that is a pretty, that's a pretty significant damage, but, but we're gonna wait and see if Norton's gonna stay, if he's gonna stay in the top ten, or is he going to pit though? We can't rule really that they're not going to pit. But anyway, guys, uh, anyway, guys, uh, we're gonna see, um, what just happened to all three GX cars. Alright, here's the replay, uh, this is Nick Norton, this is not the cause of the caution, but we, but we gotta talk about this insane say. Kyle Passing pushing the car very aggressively, Nick Norton just got, basically got nowhere to go, and he's basically at the worst part of the track, in front, in front of all of his teammates, and slides. That is just, that is just a phenomenal, that is such phenomenal car control on uh, Nick Norton. I'm not gonna damn lie. And we're gonna take an onboard shot of Nick Norton uh, in front of Nathan McCain. So that is, that is actually one of the better shots, I think. Well, actually, maybe Mount Foster as well, but you can see that. Uh, we're gonna go up. We're gonna go up to uh, Mount Foster onboard. Oh, Foster, Foster had to damn check up, uh, but, but fortunately, unfortunately, uh, no harm, no foul. Until we actually get to see what Val Foster have done to his teammates. Which causes the third caution of the race. Okay, turn one and two. Val Foster doing pretty well uh, in the corners, though. Um, until three and four. Foster, the rookie, getting, getting a bit too aggressive and just hooked the teammate and just spun him. Man, that kind of sucks though because Nathan McCain, he was, he may have, he actually may have a shot to win this race maybe. And then in the background, uh, he's back in my eighth position, but that's a bit unfortunate really. But man, man, Nathan McCain winning this race would have been so much, would be, would be so insane. Anyway, guys, that's basically it, and let's see you guys back for some more green fan action now. I want to wow, I want the green here. Uh, this is going, this race is going by very quick, but is also this is also the halfway point, just almost. Um, fan facts is still leads. Other than that, you got Kyle Patterson, uh, Ralph Foster, Bucky Dondo, uh, Carl Shack Jr., Carl Jamp Jr., Chip Ingrid, Nick Norton, O Sanchez, and Henry the Fitzwater. So, Baron Praxis, he may steal the point lead away from Ship Banglets, but you may never know. But anyway guys, we are going here at New York City once again. I believe at this rate though, if Angus finishes, right, Baron Praxis is going for the perfect 100 right now. If he gets 100 points exactly, and Angus finishes around 8th, uh, me will take home the points lead. Just like that, and also cautions out. Oh, come on now, uh, I just finished up my damn stat facts as Val Foster successfully passes up Kyle Patterson for second place. And, uh, but I don't see Boogie Tondo. Oh, 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 Kyle Pichelia is out. That's sad. Um. Uh, I think Boogie Tondo got spun. Yep, he did got spun. Down to 12th now. Ooh, it's not bad, but ooh, what just happened? Well, it kind of looks like Kyle Shine Jr. Uh, wants to pass up Buggy Donda for uh, fourth place. Got a bit too aggressive. Actually, pushed him around the corner, and Buggy Donda just spun. And just basically, and just basically lost a, basically lost a ton of time. And he's even behind Ray Carter. Well, actually, rash, 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 actually, no. All these drivers are actually took the caution. My buggy Dondo is still racing, so that's a bit of a lucky break. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie though. That's a bit of a that's a bit of a lucky break by buggy Dondo. <laughs> that's a bit that's a bit cheeky. I'm not gonna lie, but uh, I guess I guess they found something on loopholes now, huh? So anyway, guys, uh, anyway guys, that's basically it for now, and let's go back to live. 
Anime want anime want want to go. No one is still out of space other than Monroe. Hey, uh, and the be Irving. Uh, Brandon Patterson still leads. After that, you got Bob Foster, Kyle Patterson, Carl Jasper Jr., Carl Shaq Jr., Chip Ingrits, Nick Norton, Henry the Fitzwater, Raul Sanchez, Anthony Everett. Uh, those, those are your top ten right now. At this point, Brandon Praxis, he is ten point he is ten points off though if English finishes if if English finishes in eighth or 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 worse, Praxis will gain the points lead. Uh, Viva, uh, Viva with a tiebreaker because of wins and polls. Yeah, fucking polls as well. Hey guys, we are green here at New York City once again. Um, Mal Foster, that's a very aggressive move. Oh, he made contact with the 43. Um, I think Mal Foster may challenge for the 43 for the lead here. Oh my god, he's about to take him out. That's very hard racing. And Val Foster is going to shift to 43. Oh, that's a very aggressive move. As now Texas needs a challenge is being challenged by a bunch of rookies. And caution is out. And the lead lap will go to Val Foster. Val Foster is going to lead the lap here. That caution is out. Very aggressive move by Val Foster, though. But Brandon Praxis in second place. So I think he's I, I think he rather I think he want to have uh Patterson and Cole Jasper Jr. And I think Martina must have gotten involved and maybe even Burger Dondo again. Oh goodness, Burger D Dondo, what happened now? Oh man, well well I kinda guess his day gone got better verse now. Um Kit Pitt, short tracker. Uh, he doesn't want to deal with the shit anymore, doesn't he? Uh yeah, he just dumps him. He just completely dumps the 09. Um, yep, that's kind of basically it. I also, I also saw Sophia Martinez, um, having a little, uh, moment or two, which I'm very quite interested. Oh, no, never mind. He's in pit road. But that's kind of basically it. Yeah, Buggy Don, though, is just, um, yeah. He got spun twice. <laughs> he got spun twice and just got involved in the, in the past two cautions. Uh, the butt hood is not as bad as I really thought, which I'm very surprised. Uh, that really beats me. It's just a bunch of uh, single car spins by the looks of it. Uh, Bob Foster's leads. And then you got Ben Praxis, Kyle Patterson, Cole Jasper Jr., Cole, Kyle Shack Jr., Nick Norton, Henry the Fitzwater, Chip Ingrits, Brennan Lightning, and Danny Everett. Those are your top 10. Top 5 has a whopping combined wins of 1 or 2. Leave two. What a what an all star flipping top five, huh? <laughs> anyway, and guys, rookie Mount Foster is gonna lead us down for the green flag, and we are gonna remain here at New York City. Praxis loves uh, Praxis do a little jiggle for the start. He he is very eager to get on the throttle as he is going to as he is getting ready to uh, boot the ten away. As Praxis, he's literally he literally touched the ten just now, and he's going to probably do it again. Not there, surprisingly. As Cole Jasper Jr. and he's getting oh hello uh, oh oh hello there, Balaka. Uh, Cole Jasper Jr. is trying to get past uh, Kyle Patterson for third place right now. As Cole Jasper Jr. takes it, he takes it very easily right now. Uh, as Baron Praxis, he is going to chill. Very interesting strategy. He's kind of going to wait and maybe going to try to pressurize uh, the tent into a mistake. Uh, we have we have never got a book. We have never got a bookie to win a race yet, and only a second race uh, in St. Jim Light's history. Uh, come on, uh, sooner or later we, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna have, have a rookie win. We have basically more rookies than veterans, so don't worry. We're going to get a rookie win someday, but is going to be today? Well, maybe. But right now the plan practice he is a little bit slow right now. He's he's doing a lot better in the corners though, as Val Foster is doing well in the straights. He's taking a very different line than Praxis is, as Praxis is taking a much lower line. As he actually found some more grip in the corner. As Praxis is getting very close right now. Oh man, he slid up the corner a little bit. That's gonna lose some time. As Pass is now down to fifth. Let's down 
Uh, Fitzwater now up to six right now. Sanchez is trying to battle against Cowboy Jack Jr. and trying to get away from this pack, of course. Yeah, y y yeah, you don't want to beat behind this pack. Yeah, Masterson is huh, not, do not doing too well. <laughs> Karma kind of strikes again, hasn't it? But Pontiac of but a Pontiac team of of these racing group. Ooh, that's a the contact. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Is actually up in nine time fifteen. So yeah, this team is actually Apple form is actually Apple form expectations. Can the Barnes recovering? He's recovering pretty well by now. Oh, that's contact. Contact between Brennan Lightning and Caden Barnes. They literally touching against each other. Battle for the lead. Battle for the lead. Battle for the lead. It's between Brennan Lightning and Kyle Patterson. Brennan Paxis has broken through. Brandon Praxis ha has made a challenge and he is going to do it. That's a very easy move for Brandon Praxis, the veteran right now. Oh boy, he might, he might be poised to take home his first career Sim Jim Lice His first ever Sim Jim Lice race. That's how the move started though. Brandon Praxis a little bit close and then he is just, in, and he's just basically just going to basically force around. He's basically going to go by his quarter panel sh and just and just shove him off and basically just going to complete the pass once he uh, once he goes into turn number one and two. So that is a very that's a very a very like move by Bam Praxis as he is going to take the lead easily. Um as um as we are gonna have about uh, less than twenty laps to go I believe. Okay, one thing, uh, these cars are a lot slower than the Sim Gym cars. I'll say about, about, about six temps, maybe. I'm not so sure exactly. Oh, car turns out. That's the fastest lap is. What? What? Oh, that's weird. That's very really weird. Um, Nicholas Sabine Irving has the fastest lap at this, at this place. Oh, that's very really weird. I'm not gonna lie. Um. Uh, I'm not so sure if that's Nakamura or or someone else. Um, that might be Brenda Lightning. Yeah, Brenda Lightning may have a problem because I think it's not back to 30th. So yeah, Hamilton's. Oh my, they're not doing pretty well as Angus is not even in the top 10. Um, yeah, Skyler Johnson may did a thing. A lap car has spun a lead lap car in the middle of the front stretch. Oh, that is such a goofy move. I'm not gonna lie. That's not a, You don't want to make friends like that. I'm not gonna lie, but... Oh! That's... You know, that's a bit of a bonehead move. I'm not gonna lie. As... I know... I know that you are lapped down, but that is such... A bad idea to, to even do that. So that's one way to piss off more people. Oh, and oh, and I saw a little bit of contact between the 20 and the 92. And basically just showed the 92 some displeasure, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, that's a bit, that's just, that's, that's just the way it is sometimes. But anyway, that's kind of basically it, uh, that's basically the only thing I can really show. Anyway guys, let's see you guys back with some more Green Fat Ace now. Uh, we're going to have about, um, less than 15 laps to go. I can't count exactly how many laps to go, but it would be weird. Matter of fact, it still leads. And then, then you got Mal Foster, Nick Norton, Kyle Patterson, uh, Cole Jasper Jr., Henry DeFitzwater, Raul Sanchez, Danny Everett, Kyle Jack Jr., and Curtis Lundis in your top 10. Uh, my now, Ben Paxson is going to be a points leader. Yep. That's gonna be very interesting. Um, right now though, right now though, uh, we gotta see if Paxis can, can actually get a hold off of the win though. That's gonna be very important as we are a green fan here at, at New York City. Once again, this has been a pretty caution plague race, but not to me DNFs right now, I'm not gonna lie. This has been one of the cleaner races from, from this series right now. Um, as my goodness, look how close Val Foster is. He needs to get a, a band practice as quick as possible and trying to hold him up. Because, uh, because uh, this might be the last, 
This might be the last opportunity. You may never know. Oh, I can see. Oh, I can see Foster's pushing that car right now. I'm not. My. I can see Foster pushing the car right now. Uh, he's pushing the car right now. I guess it's possible. But with 10 laps to go, you gotta. You gotta. You gotta make it a big ambitious move right now. You're already up here. Miles doesn't make something out of damn nothing. As Fitzroy is now up to fourth, so she may play spoiler into this and maybe try to get her first career win. As Kyle Passons is chilling the third, maybe just in case. Oh, Faust is peeking. Well, Faust is peeking down low, but Pax is gonna shut the door. Oh, that's a bit of a close move though, but, but Pax has actually got the better one at the outside. As, as Foster, he's going to attempt to try it again right now. Lap number 68. We got about 8 laps to go, I believe. Yeah, 8 laps to go, I've been told. This has been a very close race. Despite despite about, despite about the amount of cautions, this has been a very interesting type of racing. Uh, yeah, people are about all over this place. Wow, we could reach. I'm not going to lie, not bad. Uh... Ooh, a little bit close for, little, little bit close for contact. Oh, caution's out. Oh man, Mika Reeves, he's, she's trying the best. Oh, there's a car blown on that as Matt McKay has blown up. And that's going to be a caution out and, and Mika Reeves is now up to nine. Wow, Mika Reeves with Pontiac. My goodness, Pontiac is showing some type of luck going on. But, but they do, but they do have some okay chassis by the looks of it. But Matt McKay, he's going to be another DNF. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a bit of a tough break for Matt McKay. Let's just see what happens. I kind of guess Sophia Martinez just wants to dump another car because why not? And she doesn't. All I hit to the wall and that completely just totaled the engine. Like the engine is basically terminal, it's just basically not fixable. And just basically no point in no point in fixing right now because we only got about seven laps to go. Uh, so yeah, at this point, uh, just basically no point in fixing it. Uh, and that's basically what McKay Screw is gonna do. But the thing is though, uh, we are so getting in word that we, we may have a, we may have a one lap dash to the line. That's that's what we that's what we heard right now. But I'm not so sure right now because because uh, we may get back to back green white checkers. Which would be freaking hilarious, but my goodness, uh, guys, uh, this is this this is supposed to be a developmental series, not a vet fest. Anyway, guys, uh, and guys, uh, let's see, guys, uh, to see if we can have you might check it. So, um, yeah, you might check it. So, Mount Foster, you need to do something very really quick because Brand Patch is leading. Mount Foster needs to make a move of a lifetime. Kyle Passons is in third. Cole Jasper Jr. in fourth. Carl Shine Jr. in 5th, Nick Norton in 6th, 7th, Chip Angrits, 8th, Henry the Fitzwater, 9th, Mika V, so I'm top 10 it is Sushi Sonora. So basically, this is a 1v1 between Praxis and Mal Foster. If Praxis gets a. If Prax, like, who's in the event? Praxis or Mal Foster? And we are. White Flag in the air for. Uh, for for Bam Praxis and yep, Praxis got himself a good start, and Ralph Foster he's just not gonna do anything about it. Oh, that's a bit close though, maybe close though. I'm not gonna lie, good battle though. But Bam Praxis he's gonna take home his first career seven gym lights win here at New York City. Close win though, good race though, good win though, not bad. And everybody's uh, screwing up at home. <laughs> what? Oh. Uh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. 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 What just happened here? It's like a fucking car park over here. It's a fucking car park over here. I have to. I have to see this. Um, yeah, anyway, guys, you anyway, guys, uh, Brand Praxis won the race, and that is Ralph Foster in uh, second, Carl Patterson in third, Cole Jasper Jr. in fourth, uh, Carl Shine Jr. in fifth, Nick Norton in sixth, 
Chip angles are seven. Eight is something that fits water. Ninth it is. Uh, Riku Ri is Emma. Top ten is Sushi Sayawa. And then everybody just, just went away. Well, well, that's kind of, well, that kind of makes this face a bit more derpy because, uh, yeah. That was a bit weird. Oh, I actually <laughs> forgot to show you the entire damn lineup card. Um, yes, and, and yes, and, and, and yes, uh, <laughs> yes, uh, this race is a bit weird. Uh, I got, I got my moments. I know, be quiet, but, um, yeah, yeah, so yeah, so, so yeah, here are top 10. Uh, here is 11th through 20th. Boogie Don, wait, is that Boogie Don doing 20th after all that? Really? Wow. Well, oh, that's a bit, at least it's something. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna lie, though. Uh, so yeah, Sanchez is actually doing a lot better than his teammates. That's interesting. Wait, May called in the fucking four teams. Oh, that's a bit weird. It's very, it, I think it's weird. I think I'm gonna get. I think I'm gonna get some motion sickness to see May Carter in the top ten of points. That's a bit. Of, <laughs> that's a bit of a dream. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Yoshi Zawa in twenty second. I don't. I don't know what's going on. Kanan Barnes at twenty six. I'm maybe confused because he was actually up in time fifteen. And now he's fucking like, what is he doing? Twenty six again? Um, but not landing in thirtieth. That's a bit disappointing. Um, and his your that, those are your point scores. Uh, the best they just kind of yeah fell on the face of the earth. I'm surprised that Brendan Bouchard actually somehow managed to stay one lap ahead. I mean, not not no one had one one lap behind. That's. A, not bad of a resistance, but he does not have to. He does not have to try position. Um, nor the uh, nor the uh, the luck, mostly the luck. Um, and your DNF saw Matt McKay, uh, Matt McKay, uh, maybe even Brad, Brad, Brad Lack Jr. I'm not so sure. That's a bit weird, but I doubt that. Um. Jessica Monroe and Nicholas Huffy Irving. Yep, yep, and that's basically the results. Anyway, guys, back. To, uh, anyway, guys, let's go to the standings because my goodness, I am tired of rambling. So, anyway, guys, we are going for the point standings, y'all. Let's do factories. Uh, I don't have my data with me, but I have to have my job because, because, lol, because. Because I'm being stupid, but don't worry though, don't worry though, I, don't worry though, I got my dad to be with me. And I got screenshots, so don't worry, you're all safe. But so anyway guys, um, let's do factories, uh, Toyota, ooh, hmm, well, Toyota's doing a pretty hot start right now, uh, we have to, we have that bit of a the GX, um, spurt, it did kind of extend the lead, but Chevy and Ford, they're trying to, they're trying to choke each other out. And then fourth and down, um, yeah, it's like non damn existent. Um, I think, yeah, yeah, the Wrecking Ball is, yeah, the Wrecking Ball is the only Dodge team, but, oh my, uh, yeah, I think they need more support than that, as well as they actually had a battle against, uh, the Wrecking Status Quo. Um, let's go to the Rookies, um, uh, it's incredibly messy, I'm not gonna lie, especially with 27 rookies, uh, yes, Jacob Long has an average finish of 47th place, and I'm not gonna lie, that's one of the strangest things ever. <laughs> but the thing is, um, uh, Kyle Patterson is leading rookie of the year, with an average place of 11th. Interesting. And Cole Jasper Jr. Uh, and Sushi Sayara are tied. And then you got Vika Veeves, which is pretty damn cool. Not bad. Um, so yeah, uh, interesting stuff. Kenneth Barnes is, at, is not doing the best he wanted to, as he is the favorite. Um, in case you're wondering, yes, and, 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 yeah, and yes, by the way, you, you might be wondering, yes, uh, this rookie, tra this rookie class might be a bit trash, because it's, there's a lot of inexperienced drivers. And, 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 and tell you the truth, you are damn correct. Yeah. But don't worry, no, give it time, give it time, it's only the first two days of the season, so calm your teddies in, maybe things will happen. Um, let's go to the teams. Teams is, <laughs> a bit, it's a bit hilarious, I'm not, it's, it's a bit hilarious for some reason, uh, Hamilton All Sports is being closed down by, is being closed down by Boost Auto Sports, which is quite interesting. Uh, ignore the fact that, well, I know that Mava GP has, has two cars, but the, the if, he, if he let the car down more than, we gotta do more than 72 points and be in time with Nexus and being caught up by a new com leaves and God knows why anymore. Um 
Jack Motorsports in third in points, which is quite shocking. They are ahead of Hamilton Autosports. Wait, no, they're not. They, they're actually behind, excuse me. Oh, goodness, I was thinking of a different team. But, <laughs> my goodness, I'm so broken. But, yeah, it's interesting to see GX actually doing that well. Uh, it's a bit weird. Uh, some, some doing pretty well. So Toyota, that's probably the reason why Toyota's doing so well, because they actually are working together. Um, and also, by the way, uh, yeah, Masters and Racing is doing horrible right now with the Mazda. So, I don't know what's going on right now, as Pontiac and Volkswagen has been made with no points. Volkswagen has yet to make a debut. And to the standings, uh, um, Chef Angrits, I, um, he did, uh, he still maintained a point lead, though. Uh, while Ben Praxis, he is now five points uh, within uh, within Chip Angrits. A uh, little bit close though. Uh, I believe I believe Angrits got seventh place or something like that, and he actually got anybody should got seventh place, which is basically just enough. If Angrits were to finish in eighth, then Ben Praxis would have been your points leader because of a fourth tiebreaker and poles. Yes, yeah, so we gotta go to a fucking fourth tiebreaker. Have you? I don't. I don't recall even using that ever, including the main series as well. But we got some weird shit going on in the top 10. All the GS cars? All in the top 10. I think they're all in the top 10. No, 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 not all. But three of them are. Three of them are in the top 10 though. Which is wacky as hell. Very wacky. Um, Kyle Passon though is in fourth, which is interesting. Uh, uh, Kyle Shire Jr., he's actually maybe going for the championship hunt, which is actually pretty swell. They caught it in 8th, that's pretty dank, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. It's the McCain, pushing it, pushing them, but, but, but Ralph Foster, almost getting that win, it's pretty helpful. And he, he even got a fucking DNF, which makes it even so much weirder as well. Uh, Mika V's in 16th, that's interesting stuff. You can see it for yourself, uh... Um, it's a bit weird. Uh, we also going we, we also we also has a bit of some shockers right now. Uh, yeah, um, you yeah, also may know uh, we got a couple of also we got a couple of shockers like Caden Barnes eighth and have eight points. Um, and, and also by the way, and also by the way, um, next race for Palm Beach we um we still going to have the same people from the D Q races to still qualify. But at, but after that, it'll be top 35 and owners points to be locked in automatically from race number four, which I forgot where, to Indianapolis, which is the final race of the season. So yeah, if you're Caden Barnes and Shane Vinson, and maybe even your Chizawa or Skyward Johnson, whatever, yeah, you might be shitting yourself right now. Uh, and, uh, and one more other note: uh, Jacob Long, Como O'Shea. And Soju Ortega has yet to make a debut with two with two DNQs. So anyway, guys, that's basically it for right now. Uh, stay tuned for the next week as a as this series is is gonna go to Palm Beach and, and I will see it again in the Sim Gym series race. Anyway, guys, I am an accident and I'll see you guys soon. Hey guys, it's time for now. <laughs>